For many kids, bullying doesn't end when the school day is over. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is New Jersey State Assemblywoman Pamela Lampett. Thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. For many kids, this is a challenge to get up and go to school every day because of the intimidation that they fear when they go into a school building. Many schools have zero tolerance policies when it comes to bullying, but you say, it still exists. It definitely does. The Center for Disease and Prevention state that 160,000 children stay home from school each and every day because they're fearful of being bullied over and over again. So when you have that kind of fear when you're going to school, what kind of impact does it have on a child? Well, many, many kids will, you know, fall into, uh, you know, uh, depression, have anxiety issues, have phobias, you know, and some in part will take their lives. We look at, we just had a recent story of a young lady in Massachusetts, 15 years old. She was bullied, bullied to the point where she committed suicide. You know, that's the extreme, but each and every day our children are being affected, you know, emotionally and physically. And you said we should look at both sides of this. Obviously, have, have programs in place to help kids cope with being bullied, but look at things from the bully's perspective as well. Definitely. There was a school out in the Midwest that did a pilot program. So I have a bill in, Bill 1563. And this particular bill actually surveys, confidentially surveys the students in the school. And what they found was is that upon survey, they realized that they asked, have you ever been bullied? Where have you been bullied? Outside of school, inside school. Who have you been bullied by? And what they realized was is that there were three or four names that actually kept on surfacing to the top. And when you realize how you're going to really effectuate change and who really needs the help, well, the, the, actually the bullies actually need the help. They're the ones who potentially have emotional issues, have, uh, have broken homes, maybe they, they don't have their own coping skills to be able to have defense mechanisms themselves, and this is the way that they have their release. So this particular pilot program, once, they, once the names surface, focuses on the bullies themselves, providing them one-on-one -on -one counseling so that they can, they can address their issues themselves. Will kids be honest in coming forward to a school official as they are surveyed by naming names, that can be a real challenge when you feel intimidated by a bully to tell a teacher or to tell a, a counselor who that person actually is. Well, it is a confidential survey, and actually out in the Midwest, the, the students were very fair and open, and their net result has, has really shown a drastic reduction in, in children who are being bullied. So, you know, open and honesty provides good results, and I think in this situation, if the students realize and the support of the parents that it is a confidential situation, um, they will come forward with those particular names. Um, because it's not one, one student, it's the whole entire school that's being surveyed, I think that that really um, allows the opportunity for the freedom of speech in this situation. How are you hoping that this actually works in New Jersey? I know you're working to move Assembly Bill 1563 forward, but to start, how are, how are you hoping that this happens here in the state? Well, I think anything like this needs to be done in a pilot program. Uh, I'll be meeting with the Commissioner of Education, hopefully uh, sharing my, uh, my insights about this particular issue very soon. And hopefully it could be a pilot program. Uh, maybe actually look towards schools who want to buy into it because when you get a school that wants to buy into the program, there goes uh, some of the actual hurdles that you have to, have to cross over. So if we can build our own evidence base here in the state of New Jersey that something like this could actually prove to reduce the amount of bullying provide the opportunity for a safe environment without harassment for our kids to go to school, I think that uh, it's definitely worthwhile to put our efforts. Well, we just have a short time left, but when we look at an issue like this, are there things that can be done by parents right now or by school administrators or by teachers to make a difference in kids' lives before a pilot program could even be put oh, sure. into place? I think that, you know, parents, I think we need to teach them defense mechanisms themselves. You know, how do I respond to somebody when, when, a, when a bully attacks me? Where do I go? You know, who are the people that I can trust? And it's something where, you know, you got to talk to your children about this. You can't assume that anybody else is taken care of, you know, in, in installing you know that sort of uh, defense mechanisms in your children and it is your responsibility as the parents it's not necessarily the responsibility of the school to do it all right thanks so much come back give us an update let us know sure. how this is moving forward i will thank you we've been talking with new jersey state assemblywoman pamela lampett i'm jill horner